So I got past, I got to the final boss. I got him pretty low. Then like a scion spawned. And I was like, oh shit. Oh, yes, this is over. <laughs> it's like like one two in the morning. So I wasn't even mad. I was just bored. I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna LFG this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, arms dealer is overrated. Like on difficulty, that everyone was bitching about. What are people bitching about an arms dealer? Because the difficulty increase they added, you can just stay out of the range of it. Like that gun, you can break before it ever even has a chance to shoot. Oh, are you talking about the the uh, thing where you have to like? Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I just shoot no, just the... those two ships. Like you don't have to get shot by that gun. You can just stay far enough back. A lot of people didn't know, like. People didn't know you could break that, apparently. Yeah, I didn't know that until you yesterday. Yeah, because... Like, <laughs> even OG was like, yeah, you can't break that gun, he was telling me. I was like, you're fucking dumb as shit, you can break that, there's no way you can. And he's like, yeah, no, nah, you can't, and I was like, watch this, and then I broke in. He's like, what? And I was yeah, like, yeah, there's I, I no also way that would be breakable. Like, it's not possible if that's not breakable. You get killed in one shot, almost. And yeah, how it varies. You do get killed in one shot sometimes. Man, I was so happy that I realized you can break that. <laughs> God, <laughs> the more you learn. Oh, like if that wasn't breakable, that would be a mandatory, like, Indus Hunter run, I almost. Yeah. <laughs> because the, the dunk thing for the thing is, like, right there. That's what the part you're talking about. <laughs> well, also, there's one in Final Boss. Yeah, I know, there is. I really don't want to do this proving grounds. I don't boss, I just tapped like the back left corner because I'm bad and just... I don't know. See, but once again, the, a lot of things that you can do with multiple people get harder to do alone. Like, am I going to camp the back corner? Absolutely. That's why I did an arms dealer. I don't care. <laughs> it I worked. I am genuinely... <laughs> I'm worked. just trying to re... Like, I feel like in... <laughs> like proving grounds i want to use striga so badly but then at the same time it's like do i want to get shit on by unstoppable <laughs> yeah so shit on that scorpius turn had that hard <laughs> angle that i didn't think it had i only use striga on the one side overload so uh, the whatever vex one and then like they're both of oh wait never mind the new one and then <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're both vex the new one and then a uh, glass way No, I just hate, though, that... Because there was, like, a couple easy GMs. And, like, not every single GM has to literally, like, make teams fail for, like, hours on end or something. Like, it's okay to have, like, an arms dealer and, like, a Lake of Shadows in there. Because you're still... You still get the same effect. Like, you can get punished if you play it, like, completely brain deadly stupid. I don't know, I, don't, I just don't like it being changed. Mostly because uh, if we're just going to toss in two random bosses that just have more health than the final boss, I mean, why not just make them the final boss? <laughs> oh yeah, I love how... I love how... Uh, what is it? The meatball has so much health, it's so funny. <laughs> like, genuinely, the meatball has more health than I... Like, maybe all the Rude Nightmares raid bosses, it feels like, like, fuck. Wow, really? No, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Explicitor has some health. I mean, like, let's be fair here. Yeah, the the, the ball guy. The guy like the ball, it's that guy. I thought you were the ball guy. No, I'm not the ball guy. I'm not. How about the ball guy? The ball? I'm not fucking bald. What? What? The blind guy? Uh, okay, you know what? <laughs> yeah, the blind guy who eats cats and dogs. Yep, they can't drive. Yep, yep, yep. They can't drive. Well, I wasn't gonna say can't drive, but I mean, hey. Is what it is, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I know all the <laughs> stereotypes, alright? I've heard all of them.
This is probably the first time I didn't get completely hard carried through Grandmaster Nightfalls. You didn't have a lot of options. The only time you'd done a GM before that was with me. <laughs> yeah, I got hard carried. That's why I don't out doing GM the last season because I just got hard carried. This time I actually had to play the video game. I could just sit in the back of the map and do nothing. I mean, maybe I could, but no. <laughs> well, if you wanted to lose every time, I mean, yeah, you could. <laughs> No, the funny thing is, sometimes it genuinely, just because of the, how, like, stupid people are, it is sometimes easier to solo these GMs just because of how, like, stupid people are. Yeah. <laughs> like, Glass was a great example with some of the things that OG was doing. He's like, well, I gotta stand over here. And it's like, no, you really don't have to stand over there. It wasn't that. I didn't find Glassway that hard. Nope, no, this. Glassway can be made substantially harder than it needs to be. Because, like, there was one dude, and he spawned in, like, all the ads, died immediately. And I specifically told him not to do what he was doing. Like, I straight up said, do not do that. And I told him that, and he literally spawned in the ads just to spite me. So then, you know, I just killed them all teabagged him and then went about my business. <laughs> didn't res him ever, by the way. No. <laughs> he also didn't finish the nightfall with us. No. Couldn't tell you what happened, though. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll never know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look, it could have been anything, honestly. The wind, yeah. cold feet. Yeah. The error code, <laughs> yeah. He got killed by the boss error code. <laughs> Yeah, that bot air code will get you sometimes. Gee, on Glassway, I did more DPS on the wyverns than I did on the boss, I'll be real. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely real. The funny thing is, on Glassway, the thing that I think is actually the, like, most deadly part of it, I don't think most people agree with me. What? I it's think not the, the wyvern part. part. I think what? the bridge part's more deadly than the boss, honestly. No, you clearly don't know how to do it then. What? If you're talking about anything, like, the bridge part, so are you referring to, like, after you kill the three, like, little bosses? Well, the two, technically. And then you're just going through running to the plate. Is that what you mean? You know you stand on that plate? Because people don't know. You know you stand, you have to, like, stand the plate to complete it. You could, like, get off the plate and then kill all the ads and then go on the plate yeah, again. Yeah, that's why it's not hard. No, oh, people don't know that, and they just stand on the thing and die. I'm like, you know you can, like, get off the thing you and shoot the You stand this on it, and then it's not hard, because you're still alive, and you're in a good position, so it doesn't... Yeah, because I, I, cause there's, like, a spot where you can, like, back up, and then, like, it's on both sides. Yeah, like, I'm like, playing boxes or some shit, I don't know. I just stood there, I'm like, oh, this is a good spot. I just stood there and just shot everything, and then it worked. And then the final boss is, like free if you don't get like squad wiped by an overload or a wyvern the only <laughs> thing that's difficult about the boss fight in my opinion besides a wyvern teleporting on your face like sometimes happens because i mean <laughs> tell that, me about it that's just like gg go next effectively like if a wyvern just teleports on your point blank and shoots you that I, what do you want me to do all i can do is place the well like that, that that's all i got not gonna, not gonna do anything <laughs> Like, I mean, that's all might. I got for you. Like, I, I mean, I, I can buy myself two shots instead of one. I mean, <laughs> I can survive for one extra second. But that's, it's just, like, I think the Minotaurs are actually the worst part about that. Wyverns, the overloads. they're perfectly fine. Oh, yeah, the overloads are annoying. Especially if you're not paying attention. They, like, sometimes, unless, like, they can, like, go around from, like, the sides. If you, like, go on the left side, because that's what I did. Or whatever, well, there's a like formula, that like, if you get one overload to... It's like the right one. If you get him to come through main door, it's like pretty much guaranteed the left one will go through the left door or the middle door, so you don't ever have to worry about it going right unless something really yeah. bad happens. Yeah, I've never had the overload. I just watch the left just in case, but usually they both go through, like, that middle, like, spot, just funnel everything. <laughs> yeah, I was 
gonna say, I don't think I hit that unfortunately. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this. I need to give myself a chance here. I was doing class with my friend, he's like, how are we doing this final boss? I'm like, you know in Clash of Clans and you attack, you want to funnel the troops to like this <laughs> center or whatever? We're basically gonna do that with that. <laughs> Who are you doing this with? <laughs> my friend. <laughs> okay, that was real helpful. <laughs> Like, do I, like, Ben? Like, Brian? No, uh, you, you won't know if it was a Spooky or Colin. <laughs> okay, I gotta get over here and get on the sniper. The sniper is way like... too dangerous. <laughs> like, we're just gonna funnel the troops and then kill the ads and then we're gonna be real gamers and then damage glitch the boss because I'm bad at the game <laughs> and have no skill. I mean, hey, got the strike done, so I mean, I don't give a shit. I mean, hey, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah, I totally didn't, like, Strieger glitch the boss when it was a damage phase. Okay, this is totally, so annoying right now. Totally didn't do that. <laughs> I want to get the sniper killed, but then I whiffed like the one shot I actually had it, like a good kill on it. I think that might be enough. It was enough. Some barriers there are kind of annoying, but now they kind of just fell over, destroy forehead. Oh my god, this dude's guardian rank 11. Oh my god, he's insane. Oh my god. If you had to ask me to fight a champion specifically, I would pick Barrier, I'm pretty sure, like, every time. Yeah, because you can just, if you just keep indefinitely stunning them, they're not going to do anything. I mean, it's debatable, kind of, but I mean... You get what I mean. Yeah, obviously, they'll shoot you. <laughs> well, no, I'm just saying, though, like, I just... It's just the consistency. That's all I care about. The consistency of them actually getting stunned. Like, there's no, like, oh, he doesn't get stunned unless you literally just don't shoot him enough, like, for a shield to break. There's usually, like, none of the, like, glitches back up, and I just hit the wrong key. So. Oh, yeah, I love that hell. Yeah, I love when I go to stun on Unstoppable, I dump the entire mag before it gets stunned. And I know after waiting, he gets, yeah, I know you gotta wait. I still do that, and I still dump my entire mag when I have Unstoppable shot. And it's like, nope. <laughs> it's like, bruh, that's why I hate this game. See, this is a part I'd really love to have Streak on, because you just put a couple bullets in these boys, and <laughs> they're gone. <laughs> now I gotta put a lot of bullets in them. And then the boys that I got put a lot of bullets in hit me for about one bullet, and I go down. Well, I am not doing the pinnacle raid next week. Nope, nope, nope. I'm assuming that's garden. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Not doing that. The second I hear, I'm not doing the pinnacle raid for me. It's like, so garden of salvation, anyone? <laughs> I'm not doing that shit. Fuck that. Because <laughs> I think I have a pretty good strat for how I want to handle the next part of this room. Considering I've only done this... Like, I think Mark. twice as a team, and then never solo. Mars Heist Battlegrounds is a close second for worst shit in this game. It's a close second. <laughs> I can't think of any other activities that are, like, dog shit. <laughs> I guess Trials, but I don't play Trials. <laughs> yeah, Heist Battlegrounds is a close second. I mean, honestly, shit. <laughs> It might take the number one spy. It's a contender for the worst shit in the game. We've got a new contender. We have a contender for Garden. It won't get destroyed by Mars. A new Marsh. number one contender for the world championship. <laughs> God, Garden's going to get dethroned, maybe get dethroned after <laughs> three years. <laughs> The worst shit right now in this game, in my eyes, is this interceptor because I have to get within distance, kinda. I don't get one tap, Lameo. <laughs> uh, that's why I'm not gonna actually get within distance. I just gotta, <laughs> I gotta clear this because my plan's to go run straight up there where the interceptor is after it dies, though. <laughs> my plan's to straight up bum rush, and I'm about to just uh, be point blank with a tank. Oh yeah. The dumb thing is, I couldn't tell you how much health is in there. Oh, well, he has no health now. He died. 
I was about to say, oh. I, I couldn't tell you how much HP this man's got, because I can't <laughs> see the health bar. But we're yeah. just going to assume, I was about to say, that it's like half, and then he fell over. I was like, we'll assume it's one, and we're moving. <laughs> I really need him to die. Okay, good. The other dude that needed to die died, and then I didn't realize there was another explosive barrel there, so it's time to get up out of dodge before I get <laughs> blown up. <laughs> I don't think that. Ooh, that nade might. Oh, that nade did get the kill. Oh my god, insane. It actually was huge, because that was on the sniper. Oh yeah, that must you killed the aim botter. Oh my god. But now the anti barrier champion's coming up for a hug. <laughs> the Colossus. <laughs> yeah. This is where things get interesting. So this is about to break down this entire room and get a lot worse than it needs to be. Mostly because I I don't know where I want to go, because I can't go there because it'll spawn phalanxes behind me. Like I know where I can't go. Cause I tried it before. <laughs> This anti-barrier champion's out here right now. He really is out here. And I'm out here running my ass away. Uh oh. Well, I clicked the wrong button there, so I just lost some very crucial utility. And by crucial utility, I mean the best utility in the game, Acre's Dash. I mean, come on now. I mean... Yeah, I love when... Are you... Whoa. When I want to Icarus dash and it won't let me, I, I love when that happens. I was about to say, this motherfucker better not try and hit me. With his shield and like he eat me to a different dimension, because I'm about to say, we're about to have problems. And I'm about to neutralize that problem. Because I was like, he's finishable and he's a lot of other things. <laughs> I think that actually is so good that I moved right there, because that could have been bad, I think. I've been so pissed off at Bungie like these past like three days, oh my god. Yeah, I couldn't tell you if me moving there actually would have mattered, but I don't know if that rocket would have hit before that well went away and killed me, but I just presumed I should move. <laughs> So this tank's got full health, so we're gaming right now. Everything else is dead, though, fortunately. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is literally, like, if I get through this part, as long as I don't go for that boss room strat, I shouldn't have a mess up here. Yeah. I just can't get that leg to break. I could start machine gunning it, but I'm not trying to use my last bit of heavy ammo. Especially when all I gotta do is strafe, because there's nothing left. <laughs> but if I did heavy ammo that leg down, I'd be out of here and not risk getting one tap. Because if that hits me, that is one. For good reason, too, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now the tank's one tap, and now we have a dilemma. I can't reach any of the legs because they're the back too. So now this becomes a little bit interesting. Because <laughs> I don't think that nade. Wait, I actually have a shot on this one right now. Oh, I know what I'm going to do right now. Put a sword on. Dang, I was trying to bait the tank to go over. Oh. Alright. Where's prophecy? What the fuck is it? I think I just, yeah, I got it. Josh. Okay, one mag of heavy ammo is left. How many tanks did you get? Huh? How many tanks did you kill? Are you not at that part yet? Are They're you both dead. Oh, uh, well, they, 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 they gone. Oh, uh, okay. 
Normally I'd run through this room and not care, but I'm not trying to get put down by three red bar enemies and get absolutely embarrassed. <laughs> They've never once killed me in any run of this, but I, we ain't taking that chance now. I like how any time I start doing like a solo grandmaster or anything, it immediately is how many questions can we ask you of irrelevant stuff that doesn't matter for my family? Like, oh yeah, this <laughs> random piece of clothing? So where is it? Uh, look for it. Mm -hmm. oh my. Like, yeah, I, I just keep a clothing log, you know, I got it right down here. Let me just flip open page 3, section 4. Okay, it's on hangar 5. It's on section, hangar like, 5. Section, like, C, like, you know, like... Just, Look, I could tell you. It's in my closet. Can't tell you much after that, though. It definitely is in there. Though. Or it's in the utility. One or the other. Oh, my mom loses her phone a lot. She, she's like, Ethan, where's where'd my phone go? I'm like, it's in the hey, house. Hey, find my phone. Where's that? <laughs> it's like, it's in the house. And it's like, always in like, the most obvious spot. <laughs> it's like, well, if you look at the kitchen, if you look at the counter... I was gonna say, you might the see irony a is saying if you look in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she doesn't leave it in the kitchen a lot. It's like on like the table or like a countertop. It's like in like a very obvious spot. But can you call my phone? I'm like, go to the kitchen. Just, or your bedroom. It's probably there. <laughs> Okay, that was some bullshit. I thought he died from all the solar ignitions that happened in that area, but I guess not. Or did you almost get, like, skill issued or something? No, the second he popped out, I was gone. Well. What? Why did I... Bruh. The only reason he didn't hit me is because since this is a GM, I didn't just bum rush through the door. Oh, yeah. Because normally I'd bum rush through the door because it doesn't matter. God, I wish you could just bum rush GMs. Like, like actually. I mean, it depends can. the GM. Like, some are very... like, And it also depends the amount of people are there in the fires. <laughs> I know the old, like, of Shadows, you can just bum rush that shit. Pretty much. <laughs> I mean, I think a couple GMs. I mean, you can get through pretty quickly, you know, with a team. With like just a little bit of con, like not even great contribution from everyone in the team. I don't even put in team contract. I just do my own thing. <laughs> Well, I'm not saying you build a team comp, it's just to have players, like, I'm not saying put on a build or anything. Uh, yeah. No, well, if I was gonna do that, I would ideally get across the gap, but I don't know if that's gonna work. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to do it from here. And so I did the Heist Battlegrounds, I just LMG'd I literally just did my own thing. <laughs> oh, I'm not saying I gr play greatly with the team. What I'm saying is that's just more damage. You just need people to, yeah. <laughs> yeah go. They make it go faster usually because, I mean, they're, they're bullets. If anything <laughs> else, they shoot a gun usually, throw a super, throw a grenade. That, that's something. That's something more than you'd have otherwise. 
I What's mean, your thought on people using sky burners on uh, proving grounds for the whatever it's called, the, like overshield thing you have to like shoot, like on the boss? <laughs> I'm not even surprised that people do stuff like that. I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna use it. I mean, because it gets down to the point. I mean, it doesn't greatly matter. I like because you can just wait till the fireballs stop coming. Like that's what I. That's one thing I don't understand about some people's strategy. We'll use a bad weapon to get around this mechanic or something. And it's like, but that mechanic's irrelevant. Like, I... Sh <laughs> I can't tell if there's a gladiator behind this wall or not, is it? Okay, there isn't. I was about to say, I'm 90% sure there wasn't, because I killed the one, I would assume the other one would have popped out. But based on earlier, that that's a bold assumption to say the least, considering they just started popping out of the woodwork. <laughs> Whatever. Pull out the machine gun. Nobody stands a chance. Come on, I know but you're your, still alive there, buddy. What, yeah. your dinky ass target lock machine gun? Yeah, you know, this piece of dog shit. Okay, yeah. I know there's one more. Oh, he's just chilling with the anti-barrier. Well, he's dead now. I wish I had a good retro, but whatever. <laughs> it don't matter. No, most people would prefer to use commemoration, I think, so. That's the one I use, because it's like the only decent LMG I have. How is it such a... I mean, this definitely isn't no uh, very fast GM run, which I'm not risking a lot per se. I'm going kind of slow. Because basically the, the thing here is I'm going to get to boss room and that's the place I think I'd mess up if anything. I don't know if I can bring down the unstoppable instantly with the stuff on. I think I could like get him to finishable inside the well because I just got this one finishable outside of a well with only well I'm not sure is he finishable? No he's just underneath finishable but if I was in a well he would have been finishable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also if I had another grenade he would have been finishable. Also, th this part right here is kind of scary, just for the sheer fact this anti-barrier colossus, it melts. And I gotta shoot at a really long distance. What for boots of the assembler? I don't know what that does. Well, I don't know what it does with this man pole. Okay, I don't always. It's always this phalanx is alive in this corner. I ever like I haven't done this a bunch, but every time I've done it, that phalanx is never like never leaves that corner. And that corner is like literally his home. Your warriors are merciless, Commander. Are all light bearers so bloodthirsty? My guardians do what they must. Today they must be champions. No, it's weird, because I feel like I could, like, die in here for another reason. I could just straight up fat finger, honestly. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, I just haven't been playing. Like, m the mouse feels weird in my hand and all this. Like, like I already thought I was washed. Like, I had directly told OG, I was like, I'm washed right now. You're and not now, him. But... Well, I said I was washed, and then I did, like, that blue armor glassway run, and then I've soloed, like, two GMs since saying I was washed, also.
Okay, it's time to get out of here. I kind of forgot the ads spawn in before he loses a bar. Next GM run will be solo flawless blindfolded melee only. I got this. That's not fair, that's just a normal day. <laughs> oh <my> God! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, I mean, if we're gonna make the jokes, I mean, might as well make the jokes. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't going for that, but, I mean, you're not wrong. The funny thing is, though, I just, it doesn't feel the same for me. That's the reason I haven't been as concerned with soloing these GMs. It just doesn't feel the same. Oh. Uh, like, there was a want to do it before, and that want's kind of gone a little bit. I don't solo GMs because I don't. There's really no point. Because <laughs> it comes down to is it fun, and it's like it, it could be maybe like a hypothetically no. it could be. No, I ain't gonna touch Mars Battlegrounds, so I don't care. Like I, I, I said, hypothetically it could be. I never said Mar Mars Battlegrounds is gonna be fun, buddy. I said, <laughs> None of the GMs right now are fun. They all suck ass. <laughs> They're grandmaster. They're not supposed to be fun. There's those boring shit. I mean, I don't hate Glassway, and I think I'm one of the few people that have that sentiment. No one else seems. That's the that. only. Out of all of the ones, Glassway and I guess like a Shadows. If you have a team, or like the only tolerable ones. Well, if you have a team, I think a lot of them are tolerable. Then. The arm dealers. Arm steel is alright, uh, Hypernet isn't, wasn't really that hard, just the, what, the Sparrow part was kind of annoying, I guess. Well, but, yeah, because, you know, it literally killed me with an invisible one that I couldn't see, like, it, yeah, let me dodge the invisible shot that also doesn't kill you in one hit, so I don't know why I died, actually, because that doesn't kill you in one hit, because we watched me get hit by one, because I was like, I guarantee this won't one-tap me. Like, mm -hmm. ah. And then it Ruben didn't. This is alright. Uh, you know, With Mars, a team, I... Mars is the only one that I'd still really hate. Oh, it sucks. It's and then Lake team. of Shadows is just fucking annoying. I am in disbelief this Phalanx hasn't happened to die from one of these fusion nades I've thrown that have hit the boss. Or, I don't know, one of the Siva Nanites that have spawned up there? Like, you think something would have killed him. <laughs> I mean, hey, the longer he lives, I guess it could be beneficial, because if I do eventually blow him up, that's a free rift, and then I just <laughs> naded that wall. Uh, Mars Heist Battlegrounds, I did the most epic gamer strat. Yeah, you cheated, I'm assuming? No, I just, well, yeah, and I just sat in the back with Wish Ender. <laughs> Oh, wishing! Oh, come on! They call what? What? Oh, what? What? I mean, hey, I guess what? it evens out. You can finally see. It worked. No, no, I wasn't using that to see. I was just using it for the barrier. If you're thinking I was using it to see where the enemies are through the walls, no. <laughs> I've actually like when I was doing that eighty like theory crafting, like that eighty under run, I guess, or like thinking about what to use. I was like. You know what? I, I think using this could be the play, honestly. Like, I had myself convinced. I was like, yeah, this is the play, honestly, for one I mainly, simple. I mainly add cleared with the, my uh, LMG. <laughs> and I just had this random scout rifle on for the unstoppage and wish under and everything. What, what, you think I'm just gonna bum rush and just. No. <laughs> you bum rush? No, oh, I could see it, honestly. Whatever gets the strike done quicker, I don't care. <laughs> oh, that unstoppable fire is still there. That's my favorite. So, yeah, I probably glitched the final boss. And do I care? No. Well, you don't care. Like, no one cares, actually, about, you know, doing things like, I guess, quote-unquote, uh, like, 
cheese, I mean, non-cheese way, an honorable way, maybe you could call it. <laughs> like no one cares about that. Like me personally, I'm just not going to cheese some of those because it's like, then what's the point of saying I soloed it? I I I can't die. Well, yeah. Uh, oh, in the Lake of oh, Shadows yeah, one, I, I soloed can see. Lake of Shadows. Like I'm out of the map. Like. But the the Mars one, you actually like have to do something. You can't just stay in that like one spot. It's like the the ball thing. That's the funny thing about some of these cheeses. I was like, do you guys do know? Like, yeah, you have a cheese spot, but you do know like the mechanic. It isn't gonna put the thing mechanic to bank at next to you. Like, you still gotta go there. Like, I mean, yeah, once you get it banked, you can stand there. But I mean, you gotta do something before that. I mean. Well, the mechanic part wasn't even that bad. <laughs> We had an invis hunter with us. <laughs> wow, the solution to everything. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, anything went wrong, invis. <laughs> invis, funny enough, is actually always going to be the most broken thing for, like, what I said. It's just you get out of jail for, like, it's genuine. Yeah, it is. Like, well, like, sometimes you can still get killed. Invis, if you go invis, unless the enemy just happens to shoot you, like, it. it it's get out of jail free. And if it shoots you, usually it's because you went invis too late. A lot of people complain it's because you went invis too late. It's not because of a glitch, actually. Yeah. Like, sure, there are exceptions, because I already know there's, like, a clip. Someone's going to be like, oh, so I, I went invis too late, and I was invis the whole time. And it's like, yeah, if you send me a light blade clip, yeah, you play, you, you did light blade. You know that that's just a chance that you just randomly get shit on. Because <laughs> I was doing it, like, when we dunked all the nodes, like the arc nodes before my teammates died, I just went back to the quick pod, just I'm like, you know what? I ain't gonna revive you, I'm finishing this shit out here. <laughs> yeah, cause like literally, so I did light blade with the Kaval stuff and he just randomly shot me while I was invis I was invis the whole time, cause I ain't gonna lie I was invis spamming the fuck out of that shit, there was, it was like I am invis, oh sorry, did I come out of invis? Yeah, it was to peak, it was literally to effectively peak invis shot with like a bow, like I shot a shot immediately went invis again, maybe but then I was running completely invis for like a good 30 seconds and the boss just turns and is like, bye motherfucker it's a light blade like the hardest grand master or whatever uh i don't know if it's one of the hardest considered the hardest anymore i mean people may say that battlegrounds one will be hard or, uh. light blade was the hardest maybe maybe <laughs> I don't People know. also said Corrupted was pretty hard, but I've never done that, so I, I don't know. <laughs> Corrupted's an interesting one also, because that boss can just one-tap you. That is true. And it's not supposed to, that's the thing though. Some of them it's like, okay, yeah, that's supposed to happen. That one is not supposed to happen, like, if, the bo if it just gets between you and the ground, uh, I won't be seeing you. Wait, is it the boss, like that arc blaster or whatever, or is it like the, yeah, the one shit? No, it's the one, it's the arc blast from like last year. Oh, push. How oh it well, I know how what you're talking about. it's not supposed to one-tap you, but sometimes it will. Okay, guys, I've gotten one-tapped by Sorochi when I'm just leveling up weapons by that arc blast or whatever. Okay, yeah, because it's not supposed to one-tap you, but it can. <laughs> I'm waiting for this boss to teleport because he's not moving towards me and that usually is a surefire sign he's going to TP right on top of you. So I'm hugging this wall like a motherfucker so the second he TPs it's... <laughs> I'm dusting. <laughs> I don't think he's going to... He's still stuck. He may not TP actually. I may have to actually move out to try and make him move. I think he'll move now. But oh, for Heist Battlegrounds, apparently there's a ball dupe glitch. Apparently. There's for a the glitch no for everything. Like... I did not know that. I, I had no idea that oh, was I'm a thing. Oh, I'm not saying I knew, but I mean, I'm not was surprised. I was I surprised? No, I wasn't. <laughs> I was not surprised at all. <laughs> Look, the Destiny community, they'll find a way to glitch anything. Like, it seems impossible, and they'll go into the <laughs> game files and program a glitch in. Oh, wow, really? Before we do it legit, we'll do anything. Did <laughs> like some like popular streamer get banned for like leak or some shit happen? I don't even know. I don't some... watch him, so I wouldn't know. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know either. 
See, this is the thing that scares me so much about this fight. Just randomly getting hit by this. All it takes is one direct hit and then, like, a little bit of splash and you're gone. Because, like, he never had hit me through that spot. That's why I was standing there. And then, boom, he hits me. And then I'm, like, one tap immediately. Yes, it's weird because I want him to move, too. I don't want him to stand there. This is actually not preferable, in my opinion. Like, sure. He's stationary. Like, I, I know where he's going to be, and it's very hard for him to hit me. But I would prefer him to rotate. Because I still have the fear. Like, if he's rotating and moving, he won't teleport. But in the spot he's in currently, he could just teleport randomly because he's not supposed to be stuck like this. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is another thing. I don't know ad spawns at all, which I don't know them in like anything besides maybe Glassway. Well, I don't know ad spawns at all in this game. <laughs> well, like health bar thresholds. That's very helpful knowing the health bar threshold to get to this point. Yeah, I don't know any of that. I kind of just play the game. <laughs> I mean, it is, like I said, for like stuff like this, it's helpful. You don't need it for, like, team runs. But, like, when this happens, I know one thing. When he hits the last bar, he's going to spawn in ads. I know that much now because he didn't spawn him at half, so it's going to be the last bar, which I already knew that because, I mean, that's, like, just a rudimentary thing for every boss. You get bar gone. Oh, ads. Bar gone ads. Bar gone ads. I just I need to make one. sure... Certain one you still can, which I feel like that's eventually gonna get changed. Like a shadow. <laughs> Word and nothing, you also. Oh yeah. That's I don't know. True. The pool's gotten smaller. Fallen Saber still is. Arms dealer is no longer. I don't know. The pool's gotten smaller. I'd have to really think about it. What is think... the worst strike in this game? <laughs> like, like most difficult, most annoying, like it depends. And are we talking just, nightfall or just strike? Just, just the worst strike to like, just in general. <laughs> I'm not I mean, sure a, what I'd say for that. I mean, there's a lot of contenders. I was about to say, there's a lot of good contenders. There's a lot of number one contenders here. Let's see. Exodus Crash, Broodhole. Oh, actually, in the game, Broodhole. Brood <laughs> <laughs> That's not in the game. My favorite strike to play right now. <laughs> That's not in the game. I heard people said that strike on GM is kind of difficult. I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, free. I could definitely see it. I mean. Uh, the brutal track and solo that shit, no problem. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah, you can solo everything, no problem, because you're him. Yeah. No. <laughs> Are there strikes? Oh, light boy, that one's pretty easy. Just don't get hit. God. Uh. Oh, that strike. Yeah, that strike. Not gonna lie, all these strikes are pretty free. Not gonna lie. Oh wait, hold on. Oh wait, you can't view the battleground things on the map. Okay, I was like, where's some more battlegrounds? Okay, just oh, in God. case, gotta have this drone. Okay, we're looking fine. Guns. Oh, let's play the texture. No, let's not play that. Is there anything on the moon that's fun? Hit, hit, that shit. That's done. You're boring. I think I've fucked myself kinda in this position I've gotten myself into. It's not a good Ch position. What the fuck is duet? Oh, I don't know. I'm not playing that. Oh no. Okay, oh. I got out of there. Cool. Okay, I want him dead. Like, he shouldn't become a factor, but just him lurking back there's enough to be dangerous. Okay! <laughs> You good? <laughs> I'm alive, but that was uh, quite a shocking <laughs> turn of events. You like, well, you like turn a corner and there's this like in a mirror or whatever. So the boss literally jumped almost directly on me. He's just saying hi, God. <laughs> like, what's up? 
Like, I was just chilling, and I was, like, going through the motions, and then all of a sudden I'm getting, like, a hug, and it's like, I didn't ask for this. I did not consent to this hug. <laughs> There's the teleport! <laughs> See, this is a situation, though, where Streak would be huge if I had it, because it would allow me to kill him very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> but, unfortunately, we're here with Outbreak, and uh, that ain't gonna change. Oh my god, the TPs are off the chart! He said, sorry, I got stuck the first time and couldn't TP. Don't you worry. <laughs> I got you this time. Also, these massive jumps. That's not but good. Why do people on LFGs for GMs put know what to do? It's called just don't bum rush the ads and die. That's all you get. <laughs> I think they're talking like no ad spawns, borderliners, like the Gatto strats, I guess, or like Rick Kaka strats that are uploaded. I haven't even watched like a Dado GM guide before. Well, that's why you completed them. <laughs> no, I just. Figure him out by trial by error, that's what I do. <laughs> oh, well, that's what this run is right now. Like, sure, I've done Proving Grounds, but uh, I've never I done just, it solo. This is all just, like... I just I'm... figure out everything on my own. <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> okay, there's another TP coming in shortly, I feel. I'm, like, literally my finger is over my super button, because that's how much I'm expecting a TP right now. Okay, I just got hit for a lot of health, so if, it get, if I even see a shot, I was about to say, come towards my direction, and I'm not full health, <laughs> we're putting it in. How low is the boss? Oh my, yeah, I had to drop it, that was pretty bad. <laughs> How low is the boss? <laughs> uh, last bar past half on the last bar and I just had to waste my will on some dumb shit from the boss because I was gonna uh -oh. be fine and then like he jumped even further in okay I just saw that that has to get shot immediately yeah I noticed unstoppable bat pack in the tunnel let me tell you the amount the way I flicked and turn shot that was so fucking fast <laughs> A stop, make it a stoppable. Oh my god, y'all Oh my god, the teleports! I can teleport, I don't know why. But, hey. <laughs> like, the teleports are all that's keeping this going right now. Because, like, I, I can't play, like, any sort of aggressive, because he's teleporting so much. If I step forward, I'm putting myself... Like, I'm putting the whole run on the line to kill him slightly faster if I step forward. Because if he teleports there, it's over. I don't have the well, it's over. I can't stop him. Like, he'll kill me. And it's so frustrating, because all I'm getting to do is chunk him down slow with nades that are regening very slowly as well. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's just the game for real. Uh, and then the worst part is I have, like, very little recovery. Cause that's just how I run the setup. Oh yeah, I forgot you do mobility. <laughs> yeah. So like, there's no chance of me regening any health until like a very long time after. I'm expecting another TP to come in. Okay, nope, I'm coming back. If he TPs, I'm dead. It's so frustrating. Because should he be dead right now? Absolutely. Is it worth trying to force kill him and dying under no circumstance? Mm, maybe. <laughs> okay, this is 100% guaranteed. All I have to do is complete this today and I don't have to worry about it. And I don't even need to complete it for the seal. This is strictly just because I'm recording. And like... Oh. On a scale of like playing conservative, playing conservative, <laughs> man, I could not play any more conservative, I don't think. <laughs> like, when it comes to risk and putting yourself out there, uh, I am nowhere to be found. Like, I'm off the radar. Like, I'm not allowing it. 
Because I don't even want to risk it. Because I'm afraid his attack will, like, one-tap randomly. That's actually what I'm... He's going to... Yeah, I was about to say. He's going to TP. He did a jump, and he didn't move from the jump. So that's a dead giveaway. He's going to teleport. Oh, I guess I love a teleporting cabal boss. Yeah, that <laughs> can almost one-tap. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe can one-tap if you get unlucky. So it can one-tap is what you're saying. <laughs> I believe it could. <laughs> I was gonna say you should test it, but it ain't gonna be worth it. Let's see, if you think I'm testing this, you're high as fuck. Because, like, right now, if I would have committed there, probably kill him. Is it worth it? No. Because that might kill him. It did kill him. Oh, you beat it? Yeah. Like, the thing is, I'm not worried that I am going to die. Because, like I always say, if I don't, like,. Like, if I just play it the way that I should play it, I know how I should do it. Yeah. And don't, like, just go for, like, the ego, like, hey, I'll go a little faster or something. Oh, fine every time. Easy. But then there's those moments it's like, if I do that, could be out of here a little quicker. But then it's also, at this point I realize, yeah, you could be out of here a little quicker. Or you could be here 44 minutes when you die from that. <laughs> like, take your pick. You want to be here another hour or you want to...